Hello, <clears throat> hello, folks, and welcome back to Whiskey Wars. We got another whiskey review for you today, or should I say, a rye view. Today we're getting into Wilderness Trail Rye. Let's do it. Okay, here's our whiskey for today. Wilderness Trail Bottle and Bond Rye. And uh, yeah, it's uh, probably the distillery that is closest to my actual location. Uh, let's go ahead and get some poured though and talk about it. Talk about why you maybe should, actually, you know, we're gonna get a little more. We're gonna get a little more in there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I might sip on this after the, re the review. But let's talk about why you should uh, maybe potentially get a bottle. So this bottle is right around like $49.99 in my area, 50 bucks. Uh, so kind of a mid-tier rye um, from a craft distillery, which is kind of cool. Also, they use a uh, sweet mash instead of a sour mash. They're kind of known for that. And they're very sciencey over there at Wilderness Trail, doing all kinds of science stuff to figure out the best yeast strains and all kinds of stuff. Uh, but this is their rye offering, uh, as we've mentioned a few times already. And so, you know, you might compare this to say like a rendezvous rye that's similar price point, proof point, although that has gone up recently, so maybe it's not. But nonetheless, uh, you know, kind of those mid-tier ryes. Let's get into this nose though and talk about uh, what we're getting here. So very kind of typical rye profile, getting a little mintiness, a little bit of bubble gum, almost like a spearmint bubble gum kind of note. There, a little bit of spice, some baking spice is certainly showing up there. Just a hint of, just a little bit of brown sugar and caramel in there in the mix. Some, some sugars for sure. There's a nice oakiness, uh, just a little hint of the barrel there on the nose. And, and, it's, and it's a nice oak, it's not a sour oak. And it's a little bit floral, it's just a little bit floral on, on the nose. All in all though, Nice nose. Let's get into the sip though. Here we go. All right, so let's talk about that first sip. Uh, first sip, you get a little bit of sweetness punch just right up front there, which is nice. And then it gets a little floral on the mid palate, but there's also uh, some other interesting things going on. You get kind of that mint kind of cooling effect on the tongue and a little bit of a mint note as well. Also that bubble gum is kind of there. So it's kind of a sweet floral minty bubblegum note mid palate uh, and then the finish I think is kind of the standout part let's go ahead and get one more sip in and then let's talk about that finish yeah so that finish uh, is I really enjoy it's the the bubblegum is still there they get a little bit of the floral still on the finish but it's mainly like sweet uh, cinnamon and bubblegum and so it's kind of like big red on the finish with a little bit of a floral aspect going on and also you get a little more of the barrel presence there. The, the mid palette is fairly light, although interesting, I will say. Uh, the floral notes you get on the mid palette are something akin to like a Four Roses, uh, like a Four Roses small batch, something like that. Uh, some, some of those similar notes showing up, but I, I think this is a little more interesting than that. And then the, the finish is just uh, excellent to me. I really enjoy the finish on this uh, rye. And as you can see, I have drank quite a lot of it. Uh, nearly, uh, well, we're below the halfway mark. So very enjoyable. Um, uh, gotta say that I do enjoy this more than say the Rendezvous rye from High West. Uh, I think this is a more interesting rye. I think it has more going on and a little punchier, especially on the finish, which I appreciate. But now let's get to a score. Um, I think that this does well in the price point. I think, as I said, I think it's better than some of its other competition. Certainly there's other bottles in the price point that might be better, but I think it's, it's, uh, it's up there. It, it's above average for sure. I'm gonna go um, 8.1 on this rye. I think it is great for the price. And if you've never tried it, uh, Wilderness Trails distribution seems to be expanding, so hopefully you can find some in your area and try it yourself. It is a great rye and certainly worth a pickup. Folks, if you've enjoyed this video, we uh, appreciate hitting that like button. And also, here's other reviews from us right here, and here's the subscribe button, so please do that. And until next time, folks, just remember, you can never have too much good whiskey.